What's up guys, this is Jeremiah with Riptide Gaming and today we're diving into episode number 6 of our Watch Dogs Legion playthrough. Uh, last time we got to do a cool little infiltration mission, we actually uh, gained some, uh, some additional members to our DedSec team and found the big bad for Albion, Nigel Cass, who basically wants to take out anybody that disagrees with him through automated drone methods. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty wacky, pretty crazy. And uh, if you guys noticed, we kind of have a new setup here. Uh, got some new furniture recently. Thank you very much, mom and dad, for helping me out. And uh, moved everything to the living room, so a little bit of a different setup. You guys might see in the background, maybe not with uh, my headrest up. Um, or my computer set up there for I do my editing. And yeah, just wanted to bring you a little bit more of kind of like a chill vibe, hanging out on the couch, playing some video games, uh, talking some life, some faith, some gaming, and everything in between. So please guys, let me know if you like the new setup. Please leave a comment down below. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and please share that way we can continue to grow this channel, foster all great conversations. Um, uh, recently just finished uh, Watch Dogs Legion. Hopefully you guys enjoy, or Watch Dogs Legion, uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima rather. <laughs> Absolutely love that game. Like I said, that's my very first 10 out of 10 for the channel. Hopefully you guys are, uh, love that series. I'm going to be bouncing back and forth between Watch Dogs and Resident Evil 7 until I finish both of these. Then, uh, depending on timing, uh, geez, man, last uh, the last upload I just did, um, I actually filmed that back on uh, Halloween of 2020. So it's been a while since I've filmed this game specifically. I've been playing a little bit around it back and forth, but really kind of took a break from filming for a while. Just uh, life and everything kind of got in the way. But uh, I'm back. I'm still going to do uh, you know, one or two episodes a week and you know, maybe if I have some more free time more than that, but uh, at least keep uh, one or two episodes per week for you guys. And uh, I think the next game after this that I'm really looking forward to is, uh, you know, once we finish Resident Evil 7, is Resident Evil 8, uh, The Village. But I also bought, uh, when it was on sale, Resident Evil 2 Remake and 3 Remake, so I might dive into those games as well. Um, but really, I'm still trying to get my hands on a PlayStation 5, if you noticed on last upload. Uh, geez, I thought I was going to get one before the end of 2020. It's uh, March of uh, 2021, and I still don't have one. In fact, my birthday is coming up this week, and I'm really hoping I can get one on one of these drops. It's just been uh, just crazy. Now, I won't uh, pay a scalper the extra money, because, uh, you know, frankly, with all the uh, kind of issues and stuff, I want to get... Uh, you know, Best Buy or GameStop or whoever's uh, uh, protection plan just to, you know, cover the bases, you know, throw $500 down plus and, uh, you know, have it not work in 90 days would not be fun. So uh, that's kind of my plan, guys. I'm going to keep trying. And uh, if you guys know of, of a good way to get it, please let me know in the comments down below as well. If you have a link or something that works uh, for the United States, that would be fantastic. So with all that blabbering and all that getting caught up, Let's go ahead and dive into this next mission in Watch Dogs Legion and let me know what you guys think, okay? So from here, let's dive right in. We have one of our assassins as the uh, selected character right now. Um, and just as a quick update, I did not do permadeath uh, because I am a scaredy cat and don't want to lose my characters. So <laughs> let's see what this is saying. It's I got a little highlight here. Let's hack this and see what's up. Okay, so that might be added to my side missions. Let's check out the data drive real quick. Let's talk to her real quick. See what's up. Ready for more police work? Sure. I was able to intercept a Clan Kelly laptop. Okay. It's full of Clan Kelly accounting data. Mm -hmm. Substantial amounts have been diverted to an unrelated account. But I want to dive into the Dealing main the Kellys, mission. I like them already. We episode. should make friends. You may be right. <laughs> I believe Bagley has a lead. Good luck. Thanks. So I think that's a side mission. I think both these were side missions, but we had them. This isn't interesting. A journalist has implicated Albion in the disappearance of his source. He claims to have video evidence. We can find this paragon of the fifth estate at Food Town if you feel like contributing to another black eye for Albion. Yeah, we'll do that uh, next, or one of these we'll do next. We're gonna do this main mission first. Here we go. Main missions. We're, we're focusing on those. <laughs> I'll do the side missions, not filming. 
Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. Tell me. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. Right. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. Right. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. Uh -oh. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Tell me. Albion's been working on a new micro drone, something my contact told me about. Okay. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our oh. own. Oh, to get past Titus' security? Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Mm. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. Let's do that. And then you lot will have a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Mm. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. So we got a bunch of people kind of directing us and, uh, our, our team's ever growing, but we have more people kind of, um, how do I want to put this? Like the, uh, the man in the chair, so to speak. <laughs> it's a quote the, uh, Peter Parker's buddy in Spider-Man Homecoming. He's the man in the chair. Sorry, guys. He didn't even get out of the way. He was like, come hit me, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, let's scope this out real quick. Coming up on the Albion drone facility where the micro drone is being developed. I hope it's worth the trouble. It will be. You're going to need to disable the security system protecting the R&D lab. Okay. <laughs> I really like these traps, man. I think they uh, help quite considerably. Is that right, Albion? Gathering some more than five humans is a crime. Ah, where did you go off to? That's crazy. Drone, perform a search.
<laughs> That's what he thinks. <laughs> okay, so that probably wasn't the best way to go about it. Let's see if we can go over here. Here we go. Okay. Let's use my new toy. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't quite work out to how we wanted it to be. <laughs> Maybe if we go in as our Albion guy, huh? Let's give this a try. Your teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? You called the right man. I'll get the job done. That's right. Now let's see if we go this approach. Oh Just try to go right in. I'm holding my breath <laughs> as I'm doing this. This is <laughs> this is tense. Security is down in the R and D lab. The plans for the microdrone will be in there somewhere. Okay. I think we've been introduced. Jesus, how be it actually intends to produce all of this? Why is this thing not? There we go. Move into a secure <laughs> Yep. Come on now.
Why well, does not let me close this door? Okay. Project Titus. Let's find out what's going on here. I've downloaded the schematics. Nice. You can leave whenever you like. I will leave now. Thank you. Then the suspect gave us a slip. Call it in. Oh, I won't hesitate to shoot you. <laughs> Oh. Thank you. Where is the entrance? It is over here. So let's um, let's just get out of here and complete this mission. Wish I had a helmet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what a puny uh. Now that we have the schematics, we can make micro drones of our very own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better move fast on that, Bags. We need to get into Titus ASAP. Shut down Project Themis before Nigel decides to launch. Agreed. And with what he was saying, we don't have much time. Right. All right. I guess we're heading into this building. We've successfully trialed our first micro drone, and it's officially as cute as the Dickens. I've decided to name it Sebastian. <laughs> Time to break into Titus. All right. And take away Nigel Cass's newest toy, Project Themis. Let's do it. Bagley, any idea where that name comes from? Greek mythology. Themis was the goddess of divine justice. You know, the one with the sword. Ooh, that is so Nigel fucking cuss. See, school's useful for something besides social maladjustment. Find the schematics of the building, and I'll work out the location of the Themis project. Wow. Look at that hologram. We had auto shroud. Then again, it's been a it's been a minute since I've played this, so. So it's funny, is that phone ringing? That, um, that sounds super real, but at the same time, I don't have a phone like that set up here. In fact, there's not even an office phone at work that has that same ringtone, but... <laughs> Dog. 
but it sounded so real. I was like, oh man. <laughs> Look round for anything named Themis. Copy that. Got it. Well, if I was hiding a top secret morally dubious drone project like Themis, I would put it in the secure vault on the lowest level. You will have to hack your way past some pretty serious security, however. Or I could just physically go down there. The elevator that leads to the secure vault that houses Themis is locked down. You will have to access the bypass terminal to use it. You will require a spider bot. <laughs> See, that guy just auto shrouded. I don't know. I don't get the rhyme or reason of this, but whatever. Have you looked at the Themis brief, Mum? Yes, I looked at it before I assigned you to the project. I am quite familiar with what it entails. You must see the ethical implications <laughs> of this. Themis violates half a dozen laws at least. Those laws don't apply anymore. Why haven't you been paying attention? We're functioning under martial law here. Oh. No, Themis is more than just martial law. It's a guillotine waiting to come down on everyone. Look, you have two options. You can do your job, or you can lose your job. Pick one. Jeez. Man, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist or doom and gloom or anything, but that seems like what a lot of the states and countries want to do with the current situation. Um, and that is set up martial law so people can't live normal lives, especially if you're a person like me who's a conservative Christian, we're kind of like public enemy, at least in the media, which sucks, completely sucks and is not fair at all. Okay, we can use that spider, spider bot. Surrender yourself. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, that, uh, man, I've been reading some stuff, and that seriously sounds like, uh, what some in the political space would like to do to us. Just saying. And I obviously don't want to get deplatformed, so I'll kind of leave it at that. <laughs> now, Holmes. That's how we do it. Oh, another thing. Do you guys know how to run in this game? I, uh... I don't know if it's just a, a matter of context or if there's actually run button. Because normally, run you'd hold down the you know L3, but that's not doing anything. So, well, again, you know, you guys know this. I live in Florida, so it's pretty much the most free state in the United States right now with all the situation going on. 
in some man some states and the current president want to um lock everything down again it's just stupid you know I've, i'm of the mind that when it's my time god will call me home to heaven and that's it and um you know whether i wear a mask or not this is going to change <laughs> Alright, so we're down here. I'm gonna access the vault. You'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the microdrones to bypass security. But first you'll have to get by that laser array. I suggest a spider bot and steady nerves. Copy that. So is there another spider bot? Oh buddy. Our job is not an easy one, but it is an important one. Right now, we devote countless hours to intelligence gathering, and still things slip through the cracks. We're doing our best, you tell me. We are, but our best isn't good enough. <sighs> it doesn't sound... But even we aren't perfect yet. Yeah, they will like that. That strikes a humble note. <laughs> we make errors in judgment. That's human nature, but we cannot afford errors. We are the last resort to protect the people. Project Themis will dispense justice and protection. It will use data to predict the patterns of crime and abuse. It will let us transcend the faults in our own nature. Not bad. Yeah, they'll have questions, of course, which is fair. It's an extreme measure. And there is potential for abuse, but uh, this is what London needs. Hmm. Whoops. Man, I thought I was totally past these guys. All unauthorized personnel must vacate the premises. Whoops. I got so lucky on that one. I thought I was done. All right. All right, Sebastian. This is what you and your friends have been training for. Time to crash the security <laughs> grid for Daddy. <laughs> His little laser sound, dude. It's hilarious. Okay, that didn't quite 
quite go as planned. Other micro drones, man. <laughs> time for Sebastian, too. Right then, no time for tears. Meet Sebastian, another of our countless micro drone allies. All named Sebastian, of course. <laughs> you can't iterate on perfection. Okay. Sebastian is hanging on by a thread. We gotta make this work. <laughs> there we go. All right. You've made your father very proud, Sebastian. Oh, right. You should be able to access the Demon's project room now. <laughs> Let's ruin Nigel's fucking day. Thanks. See what we got here. London. Once a beacon of civility, now a cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Mm. Welcome to Project Themis. has found a way to apply an existing system, life score, a data aggregator of biometrics, personal information, Man, to our scary. new autonomous <laughs> drones. Definitely that would happen here. These drones or can identify, the UK, isolate, and you know, terminate wherever. threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect Precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Fuck me, I knew it. The life score algorithm. My algorithm. Hmm. I should have scrubbed it before I left. That's right. What do you mean, Hamish? You know how Themis works. No, fam. Well, yeah. This was years ago. We were developing a life score algorithm for what Cass called a peacekeeping system. Supposed to identify vulnerable civilians, not target them. 
Fucking hell. So in theory, Themis could be programmed to target anyone based on any number of parameters. That's right. Exactly. That's the way Cass thinks. Genius, but twisted. We have to stop this. Evil genius. And I know how. We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. Shit. All right, let's do it. Okay, where do I have to go? All right, let's erase some files, my dude. Finished. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. <laughs> Get out now. Hopefully the elevator works for me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be uh, interesting if, uh, you know, we set all this off and then he's stuck. Uh, I guess you took one for the team, right? <laughs> Okay. This may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. Let's hear it. No, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world, and this group of... And Hamish fucking Balaji? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked what are you doing, calmly bro? into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? Hmm. Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. Someone help them, that's certain, and we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. That's Cass about is going to steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. We couldn't have done it without you, Hamish. But we're not done with Cass, not yet. We could use more help, if you're up for some more action. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days at Albion ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember that? Yeah. Completely gutted DedSec 1.0. Mm -hmm. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings. Yes, so we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. You know, I feel like doing one more mission. So let's um let's do well, another story mission. I did it. I actually did it. <laughs> you wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. <laughs> I say. I suppose that's a compliment. Don't mind Bagley. He's the best. Gets us out of most scrapes. You did good. Feeling ready to fight? That's right. I'm always ready. I like this guy, I like his accent. <laughs> Oops, get stuck on boxes there. That's the CTOS up there. I forget if I said it this episode, but I definitely said it before. I absolutely love kind of the spy if you are listening to this, aspect It means you want game. to learn more about 404. Know what we know. Do what we do. Yep. Make your way to the Walkie Talkie Club. It's no big secret that the club is a front for Clan Kelly, but the place has other secrets too. More will be revealed there. Right on. The hub just dumped a massive load of data into your optic. How forward? <laughs> You to Hopefully you guys appreciate kind of how I just kind of uh, cut out the traveling aspects and just like the, the non-story ad aspects to the game. Um, I spent some time editing to do that, but I think it makes for a, a better, you know, kind of more bite-sized uh, episode. So let me know in the comments if you guys appreciate that or if you'd like kind of the, the more raw, on you know, unedited aspect.
By now, you must have reached 20 Fenchurch Street. The Walkie Talkie Club is located at the top of the building. Lift access only. By lift access, I think they mean elevator? Arrived at the Walkie Talkie Club, where those with more money than sense come to lose both. The Walkie Talkie Club is frequented by all manner of crooked elites. And the owners, Clan Kelly, have an AI in place to collect blackmail material. Find that AI out, and let's see for ourselves what these corrupt scumbags have to Okay. Interesting. That that guy didn't, that Clan Kelly guy just didn't even see it. Or care, I guess. Maybe he saw the spider bot jump out at him and he's like, hmm. Now we have nothing. <laughs> the AI is not actually here, just a relay sending the club's data off site. I'll find where it's all going, and you find a way out of this loud, obnoxious sweat hole. <laughs> Deal? Deal. Deal, thank you. So, I mean, it is loud, but as far as it goes, and, and I want to reiterate, I'm a rock guy, mostly metal head. This, this song ain't bad. I don't know who it is, but. Pleasing to the ear, if not a little bit loud in that section. I've done some digging and it looks like the facial recognition AI was created by BrokerTech. Okay. BrokerTech? They're one of the biggest software companies on the planet. Always keep their noses clean too. If they're buying blackmail material from the Kellys, that's big news. Everything the AI is collecting here is being sent directly to BrokerTech HQ. We have to go there to get the data. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we're almost here to broker tech. <laughs> Don't hit me, fame. Lead innovators in software and AI technology, founded mm. by its CEO Sky Larson when she was just 25. Wow. Talk about an overachiever. There's got to be so much blackmail stuff in there. That shit's got no power if it's just out in the open. I believe that's exactly what our 404 friend has in mind. Check. Oh man, look at that. So, do we just go in guns blazing? Yeah, look at all this. No, no, no! Oh, did you catch that? It's everyone's responsibility to keep the streets of London safe. <laughs> oh, there's a spider bot. Oh well, I'm in here now, so let's do this. Unless I'm not able to. Violence can be 
That's what's up. <laughs> Empty. Reloading. Take it on up. Take it on up. Take it on up. Take it on How do we get up there, man? I don't know what the heck that noise was, man. That was crazy. Picking up different masks.
Here we go. That wasn't so bad. I have all the blackmail data and dear god, people are disgusting. I wonder how this family values politician will appreciate his SM sessions on public display. Oh well, let's find out. Blackmail data is hereby leaked. Fantastic. <laughs> and that is how we roll. That was a fuckload of crypto, man. I'd say it's a thankless job, but someone just sent us a video link named thankyou.mp4, so at least it's a one <laughs> thank job. Show it. You have completed your first contract with 404. Yeah. The dark web's first peer-to-peer -peer hacktivist network. I am in the network. I give the contracts. That's all you need to know about me. I'm nobody. I'm not. Okay. I'm also connected to your optic now, so let's see who you are. Hold on. Hmm. Are you a dead sec? Oh, this is fucking mint, this. Yeah. Who's this girl? That's more like it. Fortune's smiling on us today, dead sec. The world is fucked. And we can help each other set things right. Okay. I'm at Somerset House, staking out contracts. Come and find me. Let's talk. Waiters. Cool! That girl is all about us. Who was it, Bugley? I've run Nout's name and face through the usual databases and turned up nothing. Hmm. Oh, Nout. Right. Just got that. So, we gonna meet up with this girl? Of course. I mean, I guess she's a stranger. Is that dangerous? Worth the risk, in my opinion. She seems like a real dead sec fan. And I'd certainly rather have her as a friend than an enemy. Right. If she isn't with Zero Day, she might know who is. And if she is with Zero Day, it's probably a trap. Either way, we'll have new information. <laughs> I agree. Let's do it. And let's, uh, we'll just round out this episode with that uh, mission and go from there. Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. You're in. Now find the thing. I'm going. Bagley. Okay, but. No, no, you sure? Alright, alright, I hear you. I hear you. Yo, is this zero day? The future is very bright indeed. What was that? Oh, that bloody is led to the world. <laughs> It said something about Bagley. That is the heart of David. A chance to leave the troubles of the world behind. Things may seem bleak now, but a new society can do it. A society of peace and innovation, of love and prosperity. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Oh. Uh, no! Hey, you made it. Are you busy? What? Oh, him. Yeah, he thought I was trespassing. <laughs> I set him straight. So I see. Now, about that message I sent you. I might have been a little, uh, overexcited. Oh, shut up! I've been investigating a massive contract. <laughs> Too massive for the plebs you use 404. This contract is different. Okay. Dangerous. All right. Who is it? I will tell you. But first, I have to trust you. And you have to trust me, mm, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to send you another 404 contract. 
Let's just get to know each other a little better. And I must just believe you when you say these contracts are deserving what they get. Oh, there you go. Asking the right questions. Trust me. I do my research. I know every contract inside out and they're all part of the problem. London, the world, will be much better off with our help. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to move this twat before he gets his strength back. Hmm. Laters. Interesting. Sign up for Not a trap. Sounds like we have a potential partnership with this mean, aggressive mystery woman. Give it a think and we'll discuss once you're out of Somerset House. Good plan. What now, you'll think? Well, I don't think she's part of Zero Day. She's too smart. And original. And cool. And, and pretty and stuff. He loves her. She's hectic, man. <laughs> but I say we play along. For now, at least. If you decide to become gig economy hacktivists, then I'll support you. Because I literally have no choice. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call episode 6 here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast this episode. A lot of different aspects played with a couple different characters. Really progressed the story. And uh, I'm starting to see just uh, some really awesome kind of where the direction they're going with this. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you haven't done so already. Please subscribe. Please share. That way we can continue to grow this community. Please let me know what you guys think. All the different questions I asked throughout the episode. And with that, guys, please have a great night, and God bless you all.